Hi folks, John with the Wingman Wall on 5 Channel. Thank you so much for checking in. Today we're going to be talking about ferro rods and ugly sticks. And you're asking yourself, what? Ugly sticks? Come along and join me. We're going to break this kit open and talk about it. Let's talk about this system for a second, and I do call it a system because I think it works very well together. One has a molly strap attachment here, and it has the holder for your ferrule rod. So if you have molly web gear, it's gonna work really nice with that. With that said, you got this half inch diameter ferrule rod, and the problem that a lot of us folks out there have is the handles always slide off even if there's a good epoxy job after a while just striking it going back and forth you're dropping it it's bouncing around for some reason it always comes loose well they're thinking outside the box they drilled a hole and they put a nice little polished metal clevis on there looks really nice and then they add a nice carbide striker to that so you're gonna get a lot of sparks coming off there. Now, they're saying that this produces sparks up to 5,000 degrees, and the average person, if you're like me, you're gonna get years of use out of this. Be great, you're out there practicing your skills. Nothing better than a piece of kit like that. This is what really intrigued me, because I'm always looking at fire starters. And this is their ugly stick. Now the ugly stick comes in a pack of 75 and they're about nine centimeters long. And what happens with these is you mash down the end of it. And with the ferro rod, you catch a spark and then it ignites and then you can get your fires going. Comes in a nice tin, ranger bands, even instructions on how to use it and uh, they say normal use 75 is going to last you a long time unless you're like a 12 or 13 year old boy scout which will probably go through 75 in about a day or two but that's cool because they'll restock them for you but i wanted to get this out in front of you you can get a close uh, view of it now let me grab a piece of wood and uh, we'll get one of these fire sticks going actually ugly stick going. The match is going. I'll tell you what, that ferro rod looks like it kicks off some pretty good sparks. And we're going to do a full review on that. So what I'm going to do is stick this ugly stick down in here and hopefully some of this green stuff will catch let's hope the folks are wondering I'm using a firebox stove and in the back I have the hidden woodsman signal panel that I'm putting stuff on to uh, Keep it dry. So it looks like we got a nice little flame going. Let's see if we can't get a little pot of water on the boil. I'm going to uh, feed this a little bit more and uh, we'll get some cocoa brewing and then we'll sit down and we'll talk about the feral woodcrafter. So stay tuned. I'll let the fire burn down a little bit. I got a nice little boil going. What I'm gonna do is pour a little Swiss Miss. That's my favorite with marshmallows. Always tastes good out here in the woods. And uh, we'll pour us a cup of cocoa. Keep a little water on the boil. 
and we'll uh, cut away and we'll do some final thoughts while we have some cocoa out here in the woods. Now for some final thoughts on the mission preparedness, fire steel, and their ugly sticks. First off, let's talk about mission preparedness. They're a veteran owned small cottage industry company that just does work right here in the good old USA. You know that I am a fanboy of small veteran owned companies and I'm glad that I have a channel that can support those folks and introduce them to you folks out there. With that said, they make an outstanding product. Uh, this half inch ferrule rod, I really like that they're thinking outside the box where they not only glued the handle on, but they drilled a hole and put a clevis, and then they added this nice little carbide striker to that. So, hopefully I don't burn up my camera, but uh, you guys see it right there, just awesome. Light my schmog on fire if I'm not careful. But uh, with that, I really like these ugly sticks. If you fan them out a little bit, pinch them, just get the fibers showing. It just takes a spark really well. And uh, you can get a five or 10 second light, get your fire going, extinguish it, put it back in your kit, reuse it. Comes in a tin of 75, so it's gonna last you a good long time. Or if you're out here practicing your skills, hey, you go through them, you get another tin, you're good to go. Uh, with that said, if you're interested in these items, I'll leave links in the video description below on how to get a hold of the folks over at Mission Preparedness. With that, folks, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. I'm going to go for a hike now out here. It is a beautiful day.